What's up, everybody? Uh, today is December 4th, Friday, and I'm doing something uh, special uh, today. Um, today is my sister Gina's uh, birthday, and she had passed back in July. So I wanted to make something that she always made for me, something that kind of puts a smile on my face. And it's her magic cookie bars. Uh, her magic cookie bars is a little dessert. I'm not much of a baker, but she always was. Um, so I'm gonna make this for you guys today. It's pretty delicious, and uh, as the holidays come up, it's always a good little uh, dessert to bring to uh, your favorite holiday event. So here we go. All right, what we got here, it's gonna be real simple. It's quick and easy to make. Um, this is gonna be our base, graham cracker crust. Um, and then we got the uh, chocolate chips. Uh, we got a little bit of morsels, some coconut condensed milk, and I'm gonna throw a little pecans in there. Um, don't typically use the morsels. They usually use the peanut butter chips, but uh, once again, my local grocer is out on just common products. So, uh, screw you guys. So I got uh, two big packages of graham crackers. I got it in the food processor and it's gonna be served as our, our underlining crust, okay? I'm gonna put it in this, uh, this dish. I'm also gonna add actually some pecans, okay? I'm gonna add that to the crust, gonna have that uh, mixed up. Let me throw that in there too. All right, I got like a handful of uh, pecans here. I'm just gonna throw that in there a little bit more. All right, it's just gonna give it a little bit of, a little bit of crunch, a little bit of a, a texture difference. All right, I'm gonna fire this processor up. All right, this thing's running at about 180 miles an hour. I'm gonna crop this up, throw it down. It's gonna be our crust. All right, I got it nice. I got it nice and ground up now, perfect. This is why you gotta have a food processor, perfect. Okay, nice and ground up, all right? It's gonna be serving as our base. I put some parchment paper down, and you go, and you go. If we need a little bit more, we'll make more. Let's check it out. All right, so now we have the, uh, we have the graham cracker crust in here. We're just gonna spread it out, nice and even. Okay, you can use a bottom of a, you know, you just need a flat cup or something like that. Gonna mix it around, get it all evenly dispersed. All right, and then we're gonna pack it down. You gotta pack this thing tight because you don't want this crust flaking on you. You want this to be, I want this to be solid. All right, so see that? Now I'm putting some pressure on it. I'm tamping it down. You gotta have a good foundation. All right, so yeah, so this is, uh, so Gina used to make this uh, quite a bit for me um, when I was growing up. Um, back when we used to have like our football uh, dinners the night before the big game, she would always make some type of a dessert for the guys. You know, when I came home from school, she would always have this kind of ready. She always knew that I liked this. So I figured, well, today's her birthday. Why don't I make this? It's pretty damn good too. If you got a good sweet tooth, better than a cookie or a brownie. It's a magic cookie bar. All right, so that's pretty good. And then you're just gonna use your fingers, get in there on all the sides, okay? Whatever you can't get, just gonna tamp it down with your fingers, push it down, get it in there good. All right, you get the idea. Keep working on this. So as you can see, we got the crust all set and ready to go, all right? Next part was we're gonna add some chocolate chips, some uh, morsels, and some coconut on top, and then we're going to uh, finish it off with a nice adhesive, which is uh, basically condensed milk. So let's get started. All right, chocolate chips first. Okay, I'm just gonna sprinkle this around. You can use about a cup of this. Uh, you know, the eye never lies. Go with what, you're, what you think looks good. I know in baking, it's more important to go ahead and measure than it is for cooking, but uh, this is how I roll. But uh, yeah, I'll tell you, you know, uh, losing uh, losing your sibling and stuff, losing anybody, obviously, it sucks. You know what I mean? But uh, I was just thinking about a story I had in my mind today about when we were kids. So, uh, quick story about uh, my uh, my childhood. I had an older, I have an older brother, Mike. He's about six years older than I am. Gina was four years older, and I have a younger sister, Lisa, who's two years younger than I am. 
growing up as a kid, I'm probably around eight years old at this time. My brother was always, uh, always a bit of a bully around the house. He always bossed us around through his muscle run. He was always a big guy. Back in the day, I was a skinny guinea, believe it or not. Uh, anyway, he would pick on us. And one day, Gene and I, we just had it with him. And uh, I had just learned the Marine Corps chokehold about two weeks earlier. Basically, what that is, is that you're swinging your arm around somebody, you're going to choke them out. You use the fat part of your forearm, push it up against their throat, and then go ahead and twist and use that bone over there to cut their air supply off. So I hop on top of my brother, Mike, and I start choking him down. And uh, he's, he's gasping for air. And meanwhile, five foot two Gina is right there and she's punching him in his stomach. Just punching him in his stomach, chopping my brother down. And he's going down like, I'm, like he's Andre the Giant and I'm Hulk Hogan, gasping for air, about to tap out. And I get him down in the crowd and he's choking. And Gina's yelling and cheering me up like, get him, Dan, get him, yes. <laughs> And he gets down to the ground, he's uh, gasping for air, and Gene and I, we just like high five, and I'm like, yes! I'm like, don't mess with us, Mike! I'm like, we're a force to be reckoned with, you know? Gina always had my back, and I always had hers, you know? And uh, it was from that moment on, it was like a new sheriff in town, and my brother finally found out that I'm, I'm gonna fight back. Uh, it was just a great memory growing up, uh, having siblings, and of course, uh, there were so many more stories with Gina uh, that I can share, but we're cooking here today. And uh, I know that uh, uh, she would like it if I was, uh, she'd like it today if I, it, just to see this all coming together. Uh, I miss her. All right, next part, next part after that story. <laughs> I'll tell you, this is, uh, <laughs> this is sweet and coconut, okay? Gonna put this right over everything. This is a seven ounce bag. You can go ahead and use the whole bag if you want, if you're a coconut lover, I'm not, crazy about coconut, but uh, you might be, all right? I'm just kind of going to coat it, and then I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to put a little bit more chips on top, all right, just like that. Real simple. I mean, if you're in a hurry, I got the uh, I got the oven, by the way. It's preheated to uh, about 350 degrees. This is going to go in for about 30 to 35 minutes until this thing browns. You got to wait till it, uh, to cool, obviously, in order in order to eat it okay not too much more i'll tell you though you know growing up you got siblings it's just some great memories um that you have i'm sure everybody has their own stories of course but in my family you fight one ranokia you fought us all and that's the way it was gina was tough you know she spoke her mind she meant what she said you know she was an old old school italian so to speak and what a great cook Honestly, very influential in the kitchen. She was probably the first person to really uh, start teaching me how to uh, how to cook in the kitchen, clean up as you go. If you've ever heard me say that, that is something that she had taught me. You know, you always clean up as you go. And that's what we're doing here. Everything I do in the kitchen is just like that. All right, so this is this is condensed milk, all right? And this is gonna act as, as the glue to all of it all. And uh, it's gonna keep everything together. This is gonna melt down in the uh, in the oven, and it's gonna give it all the uh, the consistency that you need for these magic bars to stay together. And you want to try to coat everything so nothing kind of crumbles on you. All right. There we go. Okay. Uh, Come on, got like a, I got like a, a two-year-old with a cold here. <laughs> Jesus. All right, and then just a couple more chips. You know, it's a nice cat, nice calorie uh, snack here, low carb. All right, and then we're actually gonna, I'm gonna crumple up a couple of more of these pecans. I'm gonna spread it over it. All right, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of sea salt, just a little bit, to give it that uh, a, a sweet and salty type taste, okay? All right, right here I got a little pinch of salt, okay? Coarse salt. I'm just gonna ever so gently sprinkle this on there. Not too much, just enough. Let you know it's there, okay? That's it. Real simple, right? See that? This is gonna be a great dessert, okay? 
We're gonna put this in the oven, 350 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes until it browns. And then you're just gonna sit and cool, throw it in the refrigerator, cut it up into squares, put it on a nice platter and make somebody smile. All right, let's do it. Okay, I just pulled this out of the oven. I was in there for about 35 minutes at 350 degrees. I just wanted it to brown up a little bit. This is gonna cool, gonna uh, carve it up into squares and go ahead and serve. Um, thanks for watching. Um, you can always uh, check out my Chow Time YouTube. It's where I'm throwing all my recipes out there. If you like stuff, uh, please subscribe. Uh, thanks for tuning in all. And this is Gina's um, Magic Cookie Bars. Happy birthday, G.